Hello, friends. Welcome back to Stories with Pastor Macy. Tonight, we are going to do part one of a story I grew up with called Silver and the Snake. It's another one of our Eric B. Hare stories, so we'll be playing it on the record player, and we will finish up part two tomorrow morning. So remember, with our record player, we take our record out of its little sleeve, and we make sure we're on side one, and we start the record player. All right, and then we place the needle on it and we'll see how our microphone does tonight. Here we go. Once upon a time, away over near our jungle home in Burma, there lived a very happy family. Enoch was just eight years old. His two sisters, Sweet Sweet and Little Little, were just a little older. And Silver was their great big sister who went away to school and only came home for vacations. What fun they had. Enoch would get a long rope and tie it around Sweet Sweet and Little Little and play they were bullocks. And he was the farmer plowing. And he would say, get up, Sweet Sweet, get up, Little Little. Then down the road they would scamper. When Silver came home, they played hide and seek and tiggy tag. They climbed trees. They threw sticks at green mangoes. They chased chickens and threw stones in the river. And it did everything that everybody does during the vacation. One day they were playing hide and seek around the house until Enoch said, Hey, I know. Let's play behind the big trees in the jungle across the road. Oh, yes, said the girls. So they went down past the school and got through the fence and began to play hide and seek behind the big trees in the jungle. All of a sudden, Enoch held up his finger and said, Shh! And he said it so hard that Sweet Sweet and Little Little and Silver stood stock still and opened their eyes wide to see what was going to happen next. Look over there, whispered Enoch, pointing with his finger. Do you see that hole in the tree? Well, I saw a little bird go in there. Now you stand real still while I go up and catch it. And the three little girls stood still while Enoch sneaked up to the tree. The little bird inside must not hear him coming. If only he could stop breathing. He turned and held up a finger to make sure the girls would keep quiet and whispered, Shh. He was getting closer and closer. He was nearly there. Quick! Silver! Come and help me! He shouted as he covered the hole with his hanky. But he need never have called, for the others were already racing to his assistance. Silver slid her hand in under the cloth and pulled out not one little bird, but two, three, four tiny little birds with big yellow mouths almost able to fly. The mother bird must have flown without their seeing her. When the mother bird comes back, she won't find her little baby, said Sweet Sweet. But we'll come back and catch the mother bird tonight, said Enoch. And she'll think some bad people have got her. And then we'll take her home and she'll see her baby, said Silver. Quickly they ran home and called, Mother, Mother, look at the little birds we found. And we're going back to get the mother bird tonight. But Mother said, you mustn't go into the jungle at night time. It's too dangerous. There are tigers and snakes in the jungle. And though they answered not a word, Silver looked at Enoch, and Enoch looked at Silver, and pouty lips moved to form the words, We will go, won't we? And at evening, while Mother was putting the little chickens to bed, they sneaked off. Away across the garden, past the school, through the fence, and into the jungle. It isn't a bit dangerous, is it? said Enoch as they neared the tree. Mothers think everything is dangerous. You stand here and wait while I go up to the tree. And he got closer and closer and closer and closer. And closer. 
that is the end of the first side of our record. So we will see in the morning the rest of the story of Silver and the Snake. I hope you'll join me and we'll hear what happens to all of our children. All right. Have a wonderful evening. I'll see you tomorrow morning.